Hey everybody, it's Mark uh, with G's Bees. It is, uh, I don't know, July 15th or so. Pretty excited. I am going to pull this box, um, which is full of honey. I put a bee escape here, so all the bees uh, should not be up here. And what's even more exciting is down here, um, there's a queen excluder to keep the queen from going up there. But I have raised two queens in this box. So uh, we're going to get two, two uh, videos out of one process. You can see these girls uh, pretty strong hive. Pretty exciting. Stay tuned. So I don't expect to see any bees up here, or if I do, there shouldn't be very many. Because um, like I said, there's a bee escape board. It's kind of like a one-way trap. They go in, but they don't come out, which is cool. There might be a few, but not shouldn't be many. I'm telling you, this thing is heavy. It's full. I just want to show you what's uh, what a frame looks like. It's full of honey. See that? That's what it's all about. This is brand new uh, comb. The only uh, is hasn't had any brood laid into it, so that's why it's this color. But my all my frames are, are just like this. There's there's ten of them here, so that's that. So I'm gonna take this bee escape off because when I put it back on, see there's all my bees. See them? So they go down through this hole. And they can't figure out how to get back up in there. It's kind of cool. Left it on for about 24 hours. So when I put all this back together, um, I won't put the bee escape back on there because I want them to come back up here. But I put another super in here for them to, to, to start with honey. And let's just kind of take a look and see how they are. This is some older comb. Nothing, nothing's really happened to it. But uh, they've been working hard. I've only put this on maybe about a week or so. But after I, I extract this um, this honey here, I'm gonna put the box back on there because I want them to to um, to continue to fill it up. And if there's any left over, I want them to be able to have their own honey. So this thing right here is a queen excluder. And queens are just a little bit bigger than their regular bees. So this makes sure we keeps the queen down here in the lower boxes so she doesn't lay eggs up in here. But here's what I'm really excited about. Well, honey's pretty exciting. But I tried to raise some queens. And this one right here, it's got two roller cages on it. And... See, these bees want to ball on them because they're not hurt their queen. Well, they killed one, but this one right here, she's moving around. So I'm going to take this one out and, and go put her in, into a, to a nuke. So, yep, all these bees are going like, this is not my queen. So I'm going to get rid of all these bees, take her out, and there we go. I wanted to show you what this whole thing looks like. This is what was hanging in there. So I think it's 4th of July around here. And this is a queen cell of one that I grafted. And that's where the queen was in there. So I put her in this cage and I'm gonna put her in this little box right here because I've got some bees in here that have been queenless for 24 hours. I'm feeding some sugar syrup. So she'll be, she's gonna live in here. This is like a four way uh, mating nuke. So I've got four little compartments. Um, and I'm going to put her in there, and we're going to hopefully make her have a queen. Well, folks, this is the moment of truth. Honey's been spun. I only had eight frames. I forgot the other two frames I had put in just recently. That is what it's all about. So if you really want to have some fun, homemade bread... 
Yep, don't worry about the wax. Don't worry about the pollen. All that's good for you. Mmm. That's almost as good as biscuits and honey. Sorry, Mom said not to uh, speak with mouthful. But anyway, what's going on is there's two filters here, two screens, not necessarily filters. And they're going to filter out the wax and everything else. But it's uh, not so fine that the pollen and all the goodness won't stay in there. So just shut it off here. It'll drain right on down. And then I've got another mesh thing I pull through just to make sure that uh, any undesirable things don't go.